Hello there, Craig with you. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a quick tip for the layout of your email listing page in HubSpot. And this is very simple. This is at the beginner end of the spectrum in terms of tips. And if you've been using HubSpot for a little while, you might look at this and go, hang on, you're actually gonna show me a video about using the manage columns feature. Yes, I am. And the reason is because if you've inherited HubSpot, as a number of our customers have, we've been chatting with recently, they haven't used HubSpot before, they've inherited it and they've been told, get HubSpot working, whatever that means. They've normally started with emails. We've been chatting with them on calls and they'll have this default layout. They might see last updated open rate and it's showing zeros. They're not sure what to do, create date. And so what do they end up doing? They end up clicking in emails, clicking in emails to get the details. Well, we then highlight this manage columns and we show them how to set it up. So we normally want to choose a bunch of these uh, metrics to look at. Bounces we normally uh, look at, clicks, delivered, opens. I'm going to rearrange this in a second. Replies, sent, unsubscribes, and spam reports. We'll have a look at all of those. Okay, so what we want to get them, we want to actually get these into a bit of an order. I'll move um, delivered up. We actually want sent to be up the top. I'll move this up right up the top. Sent, delivered, then we want to see opens. And then we'll leave open right there. Uh, we want to see how many clicks there were. Put that one there. We want to see how many replies. And then we also want to see how many unsubscribes, bounces, and spam reports. I'll leave create date down there. There they all are. So I'll save that. And now straight away, you see a whole lot more information. And what this then means, you can actually sort by these columns and you can have a look and you go, oh, okay, zero percent. Well, I haven't been sent yet. Oh yeah, well, we've only just set these up. These are new automation emails and, and oh, okay, now I can look down. And then I can see things like, oh wow, 66% open rate. Well, it was only sent to three people. So it's not that meaningful. And then I can also see things like what's causing unsubscribes. And then of course you can sort by this. So let me sort by this and you'll see some of the stats in our portal. Who knew that an email that we started a number of years ago has now been sent out more than 9 million times and continues to get opens and things like that. Can I also see replies, unsubscribes. If I was just looking at the number of unsubscribes, I might be horrified. 4,000, my goodness, that's a lot. No, not really when you've sent to 9 million uh, emails. So there you go. These highlight uh, just how important it is to look at these metrics. So then a final comment around this, because you might be thinking, well, this is a beginner topic. Everyone knows this. No, they don't. There's normally two camps of people. There'll be people that have used HubSpot for a while and they go, look, this is obvious. Everyone knows this. Of course, I've been doing it. That's great. The message to you is just because you know it so well, does your team know it? Because we've had other clients come in. They're like, oh, I actually had one person we we're chatting with last week and they're like, Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I should have known that. And they were kind of apologizing for not knowing about this feature. I'm like, that's totally okay. Cause I've seen it a number of times. And maybe if you're watching this video, that's you as well. But if you are in the advanced camp, this is just a reminder not to assume that what you know, everyone on your team or around you knows. So it might be a good chance to just show them this tip and go over with training as well. So there you go. I hope that's helpful. One other thing about this is that, uh, Often just seeing other people work, how they work can be helpful. We actually have this thing. I know this is a little bit of a mini plug, but I just want to mention it at the end. We actually have this little service called Watch Me Work. You just book in with us. I think it's really quite cost effective pricing there. And what we do on the call, I've got a little video where I walk you through what we do and what's covered is we actually either watch you work or your team work, or if we know your process, we say, look, here's how we do it. Watch us work. And just by spending 30 minutes seeing how we work or us observing you and giving you tips can actually unlock amazing efficiencies. We've seen this where people just suddenly learn, oh, here's how I view emails. Here's how I do reports. Here's how I create an email. Here's how I build a landing page with drag and drop. I didn't know you had drag and drop. Yeah, it's been there for a while. A lot of people don't know. These are the things. So don't assume that just because it's basic, it's not relevant to be reviewed and there's potential efficiencies there. Hope that's helpful. Let me know and I'll chat with you soon.